Okay, in this video, um, we're going to add a drop down attribute to the product. So, as before, you go to catalog attributes and manage attributes, and this time we're going to go to add attribute again. And what I require for the books I'm selling on this site is an author attribute, so I can attach an author name to the book. So, I'm just going to call it author. Um, again it's it's going to be global because the name of the author will never change regardless of what website you're on whatever language you're in and this time it's going to be a drop down i'm going to leave these set to no and used to create a configurable product is also going to be set to no because my products will never be configurable based on author scrolling down do i want the authors to be findable in the quick search yeah makes sense and even in the advanced search makes sense as well. I can see it being helpful to have on the front end to compare. I'm going to use it in the layer navigation on the category pages where there's an anchor. So I'm going to set that to filterable with results and also be worthwhile having in the search results as well. Um, I'm going to set it to yes for promo rules. So if I wanted a particular author to be on sale one day, I can do that. Not too worried about the position in the layer navigation block. And the rest of it, I think I'm quite happy with. I want to show the product, uh, I want to show the author name on the product page. I'm going to set that to yes. And I may want to use it at some point in the product listing, so I'm going to set that to yes. And yeah, we'll have it potentially to be sorted by as well in the product listing page. Okay, so I've created my attribute now, um, but I've got no values for attribute. Because this is not a text attribute, you don't add it in as you're creating the product. This time you create the labels, so the options and the labels within the attribute editor itself. So up here I'm going to put author in um, proper label text up there, so not the lowercase one that I had on the other page. And I'm going to start adding in some options, so I'll just add three for example. And obviously so on, I, can, I could carry on adding as many as I like. And then it's simple as clicking delete to delete them. Not too worried about position or having different names um, per store view. So I'm happy with that. So after that, I'm just going to click save attribute. And that's my drop down attribute created.